sorry guys, this is my part two. Um, if I split this into three pieces, I'm going to do the same over here. One, two, so this will be one, two, and this is my third. And I'm going to keep counting with my denominator of three. So now we're going into improper fractions. This is three over three. This is four over three. This is five over three. And this is six over three. Now, how does that make sense? How do I know that that's right, right? Keeping the same denominator, I'm just going to keep counting up in order. But I'm going to divide to see if this is equivalent, if 6 over 3 is equivalent to 2. Well, sorry for the pause. Well, I'm going to look at 6, and I'm going to look at it as a multiple. And I'm going to look at 3 as a factor. Can I multiply anything times 3 and get 6? Yes, 3. Or, I mean, I'm 2. So, I know that 6 is a multiple of 3. Actually, yes, 3 times 2 is 6. So, 6 is a multiple of 3. What can I divide both the numerator and the denominator by? Um, I'm going to, I can't do it by 2. So I'm going to go ahead and do it by 3. So that 6 divided by 3 equals 2. Or looking at it backwards, 2 times 3 equals 6. That's how I'm checking my work. I know that I'm right. And 3 divided by 3 equals 1. Any number over itself, like 2 over 1, if I had 5 over 1, if I had, let me write that over here, if I had 5 over 1, if I had 6 over 1, etc. Anything over 1 equals the number, equals the numerator itself. So 2 over 1 is the same as 2, so I know that I am correct with my partitions and in labeling my fractions.